pet decides. Yep. Um, I asked the owner, I, you know, I'll tell the owner what I need to do. I need to get a, a weight. I need to get a temperature. And the CSRs are really helping me out by getting weights up there before they take them back. But let's say I need to get a weight, a temperature, I need to draw blood for something, and we need to do nails. And I will ask them, do you feel your pet would be better in the room with you? Or if I took it to the back? Or do you want to leave the room or something? Um, many times um, the owner, not many times, but every once in a while an owner won't want to see that stuff. And so if the pet's better than a room, in the room than taking out, we will ask the owner to leave. And again, if you tell the owner why, they're not going to be offended. They're not going to have hurt feelings. They're not going to wonder what you're doing. They're welcome to stay. Um, a lot of times I'll draw blood in the room. I ask the client every time if it's okay, because on the rare occasion that I have it, you better believe that was the person that's terrified of needles. So, um, and we try and note that on charts too. But, um, so, so that's how that goes. And then, and then if we try and do it and the pet's like climbing under the chair or whatever, trying to get to the owner, maybe we will, uh, not maybe, we're going to offer hot dog, you know, the desiccated hot dog or peanut butter or spray cheese or something. If the pet's anxiety level was a little higher up and it's not interested in food, maybe we'll try and take it away to the back where, and sometimes they are different back there. So that's how we do it. That's how we decide. So it's, there, there's a lot of not everything works for every pet. Not everything works for every pet that worked the last time. Again, um, trial and error and let's try this. And that probably annoys the assistants to no end, but they don't tell me about it, so I don't know. <laughs> we just keep trying.